Hazer. In this video we'll compare the speed performance of the brand new Nokia 3.4 and the Google Pixel 3a. We'll see which one is faster and which one is a better phone. Each time one of them wins, they'll get a bean. In case at any time they feel exactly the same, each of them will get a bean. Alright, let's start with the power on test. Okay, the pixel probably will be faster, but let's see. Yeah, the 3A loaded much faster than the Nokia. Still loading. Okay, yeah, and the beam goes to the 3A. Yeah, only now the Nokia loaded. Still not loaded. It should be now. Alright, let's see the Geekbench scores, see how they compare. Opening this app was faster than the Pixel. Let's see the source itself. As you see, the results are actually not that much different. Single score is better on the 3A, however again, incredibly similar. However, the Pixel has got 1 uh, gigabyte of RAM more, got 4 gigabytes, while the Nokia has got 3 gigabytes of RAM. So, yeah, I've been goes to Pixel since it was faster to open the app, and also the score itself was faster, even better. Let's open YouTube now. Okay. Uh, 3A opened slightly faster, so I've been lost to it, but the Nokia wasn't slow at all. It's rather nice, so let's open the maps. Okay, slightly slightly faster on the 3A, but not by much. Let's see, scrolling performance. Hmm. Very small, very smooth. You often get a tiny, tiny stutter, but still a good experience. On the 4A, sorry, 3A. Yeah, super smooth. So the bean goes to 3A since it was actually a bit faster and the scrolling experience also is a bit better. Let's open the camera up. Okay, on the 3.8 it was slightly faster, actually faster by a lot. And the cameras itself on the Nokia, they are actually not good at all. When you compare to the Pixel 3a, which is like probably the best camera you can get on any smartphone. So yeah, while the speed performance of the apps is quite similar, the photos you get from these phones are really different. And if you want a good quality shooter, choose the Pixel 3a for sure, as the Nokia can't really match up the, the Pixel. Okay, let's open messages. Okay, faster on the Pixel. But this time this one, yeah, they're pretty much the same. Let's try open browser. Okay, definitely faster than Fixel. Let's try another website. Looks the same. Again, looks the same. Let's try scrolling them. Both of them feel fast. Yeah, it's 
knock even with less RAM. Feels as fast as that one, but still the bean goes to the pixel as it was faster to open the browser. So open calculator now. Mm, probably the same. Yeah, it's, might be a tiny difference, but still same. Okay, let's test the speed test app. Looks the same. Let's test speed on the Nokia first. By the way, I live in the UK and this is the speed I have to live with. It's really slow and pathetic. Especially the upload speed. It takes ages to upload these videos. Okay, let's test on the pixel one. Okay, seems a bit faster. Upload the same. Yeah, uh, seems like a bit faster on the pixel. Let's open the Photos app. Yeah, it's definitely faster on the pixel. And let's try open Subway Surfers game. Should be faster on the pixel. Do it in more RAM, but let's see the difference. Actually. Yes, on the pixel one, but not by much. So, yeah, as you saw. Most of them were almost the same, but yeah, it's a pixel one. So let's see the fluidity of the menus. As you saw at first, there were some stutters there. But still, as you see, the menus are very fluid. Sometimes you get tiny, tiny stutter when scrolling through the news. But as you see, it's, it's really good. The pixel is really smooth. I would say the Pixel uh, feels smoother and like more high-end phone because actually it is more high-end phone. <laughs> so yeah, in total the Nokia got two beans while the Pixel got four, five, seven, eleven beans. So quite a difference. Also, as you saw, there weren't actually that much difference between the Nokia and the Pixel considering that the Nokia costs only like 100 pounds new and this pixel was 400 pounds new then yeah the Nokia is other good phones one thing as you probably saw the viewing angle of the Nokia wasn't as good when I laid like that however when you tilt it like that it's perfectly fine so yeah the screen definitely is better on the 3A and also I like the form factor of 3A the design of the Nokia it definitely looks more modern and I would say it looks a bit better than the Pixel yeah currently uh, as, I, as I said again the Nokia costs like 100 pounds and you use it uh, Pixel 3A costs about the same, also about 100 pounds. However, you get so much better camera on the Pixel than on the Nokia. The camera on the Nokia is really terrible, I would say, when you compare it to the Pixel. And yeah, if I had to get a new phone, I would probably get and use the Pixel 3a. 
when you, if you're deciding, deciding between these phones. However, if you don't really care about the camera quality and you want a more modern phone, it's a Nokia. Yeah, it's a really good phone. And I would really suggest to you so. Alright, if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button. Also, if you want to see more videos about the Nokia 3.4 or Google Pixel phones, make sure to subscribe as I'll be releasing some very soon. See you!